my, my biggest concern is, is that this is allowed, that you can turn off utilities in a home and allow someone to continue living there. I would think that the home should be not able to be occupied until it's safe to live there for anybody. It, it doesn't matter whether they're, they have social anxiety or dementia. I am sure there are people out here that have dementia who may not be able to pay their bills, who've had their utilities turned off and people, their family may not know it and they may be hiding it. So there should be some follow-up. There should be some follow-up or, you know, a house condemned. There's no utilities. You can't live there. He had always lived independently since my grandma died. He paid his bills. He had money to pay his bills. Um, you know, so there was no, and if he didn't, he let my he dad let me know. know. <laughs> oh, you yeah. know, like, it, you know, somehow, whatever it was, however he needed to let someone and know. And we'd bring him clothes, we just, and people would bring him food, food and that, and sometimes he'd bring it right back. I, th I think with the tragedy of, of that, the, the manner of his death, he had like cans of tuna fish that were open in his room and packages of lunch meat, but there was absolutely no food in the house, which means as he got weaker, he stopped going out to get food. That really, that really shakes you up. You know, it's one thing to find your loved one has passed from something, but to know that they were t living a torturous, you know, life for several weeks or months, just, wow, just tears you, tears you open. Because we would have never allowed that to happen. No.